Hi, I'm Leslie. Today I'm walking through a home that's of course made out of CMU block. I wanted to talk about one other thing that's really neat when you're building homes, especially when you're considering where your load bearing walls are gonna be. You can see there's an exterior wall all the way to exterior wall and we have a complete coverage of the roof all because of roof trusses. Your roof truss versus being field framed which was traditional construction for the longest time, still is, and even in parts of Georgia and Alabama around the Southeast. In Florida, it's mandatory to have these trusses pre-manufactured, not field framed, and they extend from one exterior wall to the other. The neat part about that is no load bearing walls on the inside. So future remodeling projects, opening up this wall, changing this wall, so much easier when you have these. Another important factor of having the roof trusses like this is they are connected to the wall through what's called a strap. This header is then connected all the way across here with rebar. That rebar is connected to other rebar that comes all the way down to the floor that's connected to straps and rebar that are all the way into your footings. So that means this roof is tied down and anchored down by your footing. In a storm, that wind might be blowing, blowing, blowing real hard on these roof trusses, but it's held down by the footing and the weight of the footing, the weight of your whole building. So your, your home is extremely safe. That's why you see a lot of roof trusses specified just for this reason. Not only does it open up the inside of your home and allow you a lot of flexibility, but it's for safety and durability during a windstorm and a wind event. All of these joists are, are pre-manufactured they're super strong. They're designed to withstand up to a thousand pounds or more of uplift. And that is more than sufficient for most any hurricane. With that, you get a peace of mind and you get a structure that is super sturdy and an interior that is super flexible to work with. So this is Leslie giving you a little insight on roof trusses and their value versus traditional stick frame structure. So something to think about when you're talking with your contractor is ask them, how do they plan on doing your roof system?